morning, friends. My name is Clint Kaler. We just wrapped up a month-long door-to-door campaign of salvation, healing, and deliverance in a town in mid-Missouri called Warsaw. And we wrapped up our campaign with a outdoor uh, style meeting at an amphitheater down by the water. And it's kind of a lake town, a resort area. And I began to uh, understand what a little bit of what John said when he said, if all the things that had been written of Jesus, what he said and did, the books, the world could not contain the books that would be written. And although we didn't have, you know, we had uh, uh, just a few people there, every single person I prayed for was healed. We had some that ha- a couple that have to go get labs to determine uh, the depth of the healing in them because it's uh, not a symptomatic disease, but a disease that's detected by a, a test. We saw person after person healed, delivered, filled, baptized with the Spirit, speaking in tongues. Uh, talked to one little girl. Her grandmother brought her up to me, and she well, she said, My body shakes when you speak. And that little girl got filled with the Holy Spirit and spoke in tongues. Another woman who was uh, uh, v- looked very ill, very gaunt, um, not quite skin and bones yet, but on the way. And had been ill for two years with a level pain of seven. Last uh, seven out of ten. Last um, six months, she had been ten out of ten on the pain, suffering. We commanded this infirmity to leave her in the name of Jesus. We believed that it was done, and instantly, her pain level, which the pain was all throughout her chest, her abdomen, and wrapped all the way around into her back. Uh, that pain instantly went from a 10 to a zero healed. And we do this because of authority. In your New Testament, your English New Testament, you have two words that are translated to power, two Greek words translated to power. The word power, they are exousia and dunamis. Exousia means authority. It means, uh, it means dominion. And then uh, dunamis, where we get our word dynamite from, means miraculous ability. When we are born again as sons of God, we have authority. We have been given authority. Then we are, when we are baptized and filled with the Holy Spirit and fire, uh, and immersed in His power, we receive miraculous ability. Jesus said, wait until Jerusalem, until the gift of the Father is given. And you shall receive power to become my witnesses. The Greek word there for power is dunamis, miraculous ability. The Greek word for witness is martyr. You shall receive miraculous ability and be my martyrs. So we, uh, going door to door, encountered Satanists. In the name of Jesus, we told them their God was a loser and a wimp. And that we are the masters of their God. They could not refute nor rebut us. We also prayed for many with visible manifestations of the power of God touching their lives. Uh, people, Catholics, and this one lady was a Catholic, and she uh, she experienced the power of God on her porch. And we, you know, we typically stay uh, six to eight feet away from people when we're witnessing and ministering and teaching, uh, just in, unless they invite us to come close because, uh, you know, they don't know us. We're strangers rolling up on them. And this woman... I said, uh, what did you feel when we prayed? And we were praying for her husband who had cancer, who was not there. And she said, I felt power. (laughs) This is a Catholic woman with the statue of Mary in her yard. She said, you guys are real. And I said, yes, ma'am. Today is a witness that the kingdom of heaven has come near you. So today you have been given power. That is authority and miraculous ability. And you have been commanded by Jesus to use it for the salvation, healing, and deliverance of people and the making of disciples that walk in his footsteps in Jesus' name.